right, Fences for Windows 7. Uh, Fences is a cool program from Stardot. You go to stardot.com uh, to get this. There's two versions, the free and the pro. Um, this is going to show you how to do the free version. So what you do is you, this will show you the list of what you get. Personally, I'd rather not pay 20 bucks. But, um, it's your money if you want to buy it. So you just click on download. It'll take you to cnet.download.com. Um, you see the ratings are pretty high. And then you can download the file. You just have to wait for that one pop-up. So there it is. You click on here, download the file. Again, you're back here. Notice it shows connecting. I'm going to save the file because I'm going to put this file, um, run this in another computer, but you can just run it. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Since it's not going to be on my computer for very long. It was two hours, but it's just to psych you out. Again, my internet connection is slow, getting, well, it's getting faster, but 41 bytes per second. some of that out. As soon as it's done, you can run it. It's going to install. Just click next. Accept the license agreement. Click where you want to install it. Name of the file. Usually I just keep all the defaults. So just click next and next. It's now installing. I have two screens on here, so a lot of my desktop icons are on the other screen, but you can see some of them on the left-hand side. So now here you can click on the Start Using Fences. Um, I just chose that one, and notice how everything just pops right in, and it automatically names it, and you're ready to go. So now you can like play around and choose the layout. Uh, you can put all of them on the bottom, bottom right. This is just all your preferences. You can even drag it around and put it where you want. So uh, that's what I will um, we'll do after this. You can change the color. Transparency, it's pretty. You can make it uh, match the aesthetics of your desktop. I'm just gonna play around with these settings to show you a little bit of what it does. None of it really matches the background I have except for the black, so... And the outline just makes it a little bit more there, and then there's that scroll bar. And that's pretty much it for this.
you can uh, adjust the size by grabbing an edge. You notice if you go too much, then the scroll bar will pop up. You can drag it wherever you want, like I just mentioned earlier. You can drag and put something in there if it didn't get inside of the fence. If you double click, all the fences disappear. If you double click again, they all pop up. Which is nice because you can actually have nothing on your desktop when you don't really need anything. And then you can rename it. But I'm going to leave it the same. If you want to go back to that configure screen that we saw earlier, that's how you do it. Pretty much it.